Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Elex2 game on your Windows computer. The first step is to restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then click on restart. After the system restart, try to launch the game. Sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. Now still you're facing the problem, then put dash dx11 in launch option. So for this, make a right click on the game in stream and then go to properties. And under the launch option here, you can see this box, type in dash dx11 and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. In case if you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, then click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. Click on manage ransomware protection. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, it's in C drive. So open C drive program files x86. Then open the Steam folder. And then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. And over here, you will find the folder for Elex2. Open this folder. Over here, you will find the game exe file. Select the game exe file, then click on open. Once the game is added over here, launch the game. In my case, the game is still downloading right now. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. This is the latest driver. Click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties then go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so for this make a right click on the game then select manage then click on browse local files this will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you will find the game exe file. In my case the game is still downloading so I don't have the exe file over here. So I am showing you with another game. So open the elex2 game folder and then select the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file. Select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Put a check over here then click on apply. OK and then try to launch the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now the next step is to run the game on, on the dedicated graphic card. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Or in the search box, simply type in graphic settings and then click on graphic settings. You will find the graphics settings under system, then go to display and then you will see graphics. Select a desktop app and then click on browse. Now again, go to the game installation folder. So open the Steam folder. And then Steam apps. And then open the common folder, open the game folder and then select the game exe file from here and then click on add. Now once the game is added over here, this is just an example. Once the game is added over here, Click on the game, select options, select high performance, then click on save and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to the start menu, click on settings. Now click on Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. And once the all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to install DirectX 
for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see direct x download file so click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then install direct x on your computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 so download both x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file and then run both x86 and x64 version so click on it now click on agree and then click on install you might see repair option so if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow do the same thing with x64 version so click on install or repair whatever you see click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both the installation is complete restart your computer so make sure that you let both the installation complete and then you will see the restart option click on restart or you can restart from here and after the system restart try launching the game now the next step is to install media feature pack so if you have an edition of windows then install media feature pack for this go to the start menu click on settings then go to apps and then click on optional features in windows 10 you will find an option which says add a feature click on add a feature in windows 11 click on view features and then type in media feature pack now in my case i have windows 11 home so i don't have media feature pack if you have windows n edition you will find media feature pack like this put a check on the box media uh, which says media feature pack and then click on install or next and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to unplug multiple monitors so if you have plugged in multiple monitors unplug it and try to launch the game on single monitor turn off all these software razor software msi dragon center corsair so turn off close all these application also and nahimic services in task manager so make a right click on the start menu then click on settings i'm sorry make a right click and then click on task manager to open task manager and then find nahimic software or nahimic services running and then once you select it to click on end task this is just an example so i don't have this services running this is for asus computer so if you have asus computer and this services in task manager remove the undervolt and then do not overclock so close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer make sure that you close msi afterburner if you have revert unit running on the computer close revert unit also disable steam overlay for this go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then try to launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running in the computer close discord now if you have geforce experience running in the computer close geforce experience so make sure that you close all the overlay application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here and then click on disable all in my case i already did it so this is grayed out in your case this will be highlighted so put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply okay you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game now the last step is to run game in window mode so if you are able to launch the game try launching the game in window mode and then go to graphics settings and if everything is all the quality is set to high or ultra you can lower it down to medium or low quality and then check the performance the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall after the uninstall delete the game folder from the game installation folder and then restart your computer and after the system restart try to install the game to a different hard drive so if you have any other hdd or ssd try to install the game to different hard drive and then launch the game so one of the steps should help you to launch the game successfully on your computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel